Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. Okay, welcome to Lesson 26, Recursive Challenge Problem, the Double and Add 5 game. The double and add five game is loosely related to the Kolatz conjecture. Okay, this guy was a German mathematician, and he had a conjecture, an unsolved conjecture in mathematics named after Lothar Kolatz, who first proposed the problem in 1937. He died back in 1990. Uh, the conjecture includes a recurrence relation, triple and add one, as part of the problem statement. And it's worth the while activity for you to read about the conjecture online. So if you just Google the Kolatz conjecture, there's all kinds of stuff up there. It basically says if you take any even number, you divide it by 2. And you keep doing that until you get an odd. And then when you get an odd number, you multiply it by 3 and add 1. And that will give you an even number. And then you repeat. And every single number so far has gone down to 1. And people are constantly trying to figure out if there's a number that does not take us to 1. Anyhow, let's work on this one. Classwork example. Fill in the doubling and add 5 below. Starting number 1. So number 1 times 2 and then add 5. So 2 plus 5 is 7. Double 7, you get 14. Plus 5 is 19. So then you take that 19 and you put it down here. So this is the double add 1. 19 times 2 is 38 plus 7 is 45 or 43 not plus 7 plus 5 maybe I should write these out okay so let's do that 7 times 2 plus 5 equals 19 19 19 times 2 is 38 plus 5 is 43 43 times 2 is 86 plus 5 is 91. 91 times 2 is 182 plus 5 is 187. Okay. So that's just doubling and adding 5. Exercise 1, complete the table below for the giving, given starting number. All right, so now you try that on these two. Pause the video, see how you do, and then come back. Okay, here we go. So we take the 2, double it, add 5. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9. 9 times 2 is 18 plus 5 is 23. Take 23, double it, it's 46, plus 5 is 51. Okay, so that was starting with 2. Now we're going to start with 3. Double it, 6, add 5, 11. Take 11, double it, 22, plus 5, 27. Take 27, double it, 54, plus 5, 59. Okay, page 2 brings us to mathematical modeling exercise, exercise 2. It says, given a starting number, double it and add 5 to get the result of round 1. Double the result of round 1 and add 5 and so on. The goal of the game is to find the smallest starting whole number that produces a result of 100 or greater in 3 rounds or fewer. So I copied this over from the previous page and blocked out the first starting numbers. So we need to find numbers that in 3 steps we get to 100 or greater. Okay, so we've already done 1, 2, and 3. We could start with 4 or 5 or something like that. Um, let's just skip a few numbers and start with 6. So if I put a 6 here, 
double that, 6 times 2 plus 5 equals 17. Take 17 and double it, add 5. 17 times 2 is 34, plus 5 is 39. Okay, that's not quite going to make it because I needed to get to at least 45 here, right? Because if you add 5, you get 50, and 50 times 2 is 100, so this isn't going to work. But I'll do it anyway. 39. 39 times 2 is 78, plus 5 is 83. So we didn't do it in three steps. So let's try uh, 8. So 8 times 2 is 16 plus 5 is 21. 21 times 2 is 42 plus 5 is 47. No, not quite 50. Actually, well, let's just see. 47 times 2 is 94 plus 5 is 99. Missed it by 1. So if 8 didn't work, guess what's going to work? I would guess 9. Okay, so here's more <clears throat> tables. And I will start with 9. 9, -er. nine times 2 is 18, plus 5 is 23. Take 23, double it. 46 plus 5, 51. 51 times 2 is 102, plus 5 is 107. Okay, so we needed the number 9. Okay, exercise 3 says using a generic initial value a sub 0 and a recurring relation a sub i plus 1 equals 2a sub i plus 5 for any i greater than or equal to 0. Find a formula for a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4 in terms of a sub 0. Okay, so let's start with a sub 1, of course. And so we're going to put a sub 1 equals. Well, if a sub 1 is here, what was i? Well, what plus 1 is 1? zero. So if i is zero, then a sub zero plus one equals two a sub i and i was zero. So it'd be two a sub zero plus five. Okay, so there's a sub one. Just by putting a zero here, i is zero. So now if we have a sub two, let me change colors. If we have a sub 2, that would be the second term. So it would be, what would make this 2? Well, it would be when i is 1. Okay, so a sub 2 equals a sub 1 plus 1, and this is my i. That's how I'm doing this. So this i would be 1. So two a, or a sub 2 would be... 2a sub 1 plus 5. Okay, but then we can stretch that out because now I know what a sub 1 is. So that would be 2 times a sub 1, which is this term, 2a sub 0 plus 5. And that is going to equal 2a sub 1 plus I'm sorry, 2 times 2 is 4a sub 0 plus 10. Oh, I forgot the plus 5, too. Okay, so we need to be really careful. Let's get this out of the way. So we have 2a sub 1 plus 5. And 2a sub 1 is 2a sub 0. So I took 2a sub 1 plus 2a plus 0 plus 5 and substitute it in for a sub 1. Okay, so this 
is equal to that. So I put it there in place of it. So now I have 2, a sub 1, and I need that plus 5 here. And then distribute and simplify. So 2 times 2a sub 0 is 4a sub 0 plus 2 times 5 is 10 plus this other 5 is 15. Okay, so we need to be really careful here. Okay, now a sub 3 equals. So the first thing I do is come over here and say, okay, well, to make this 3, I need i to equal 2. So it's 2a sub, it's 2a sub 2. So it's 2a sub 2 plus 5. But I know a sub 2 is 4a sub 0 plus 15. Okay, or we could go to here in terms of a sub 0, because it says in terms of a sub 0. So let's just stick to this piece right here. So I'm going to use this piece to replace a sub 2. So this is going to equal 2 times 2a sub 0 plus 5 plus 5. Yeah, this is tricky. Okay, so we're doing the 2 times 2a plus 0 portion. Uh, but then, which is 4a plus 0, or 4a sub 0, but I want it in terms of 2 times 2 because we're going to see a pattern here. All right, but I don't want to do that with the constant. So this came out to be 15. So I could say plus 15 because it's 4a sub 0 plus 15, but that's 2 times 2a sub 0 plus 15, and then plus a 5 on the outside. Okay, and then we do a sub 4. So let me erase this here. So in order to get a 4 here, I need 3 plus 1, so a sub i, i equals 3. So if we have a sub 4 equals 2a sub 3, right? 2a sub 3 plus 5. And that's going to equal 2 times my a sub 3 here, which was 2. So this is 2. Um, I'm missing a piece here. This is real tricky. So this is 2 times 2a sub 0 plus 5. This is 2 times 2 times 2a sub 0 plus 5. And then plus, an, plus 15 plus another 5. And I never finished this. So that's going to be 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So that's going to be 8a sub 0 plus... 15 times 2 is 30, plus 5 is 35. Okay. So now I have 2 times, and then it's going to just keep adding 2s inside here. So 2 times 2 times 2. Instead of writing that, I'm just going to write 2 cubed. Let me change colors back to black. Cubed a sub 0 plus, and this time I'm going to have 35 here plus 5 on the outside. And that's going to be equal 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 a sub 0 plus 70 plus 5 or 75. So there's the first four terms. Whew, that was interesting. Okay, so anyway that continues on. So then you see a pattern. So we went from 4 to 8 to 16 so these are doubling. So the next one would be 32a sub 0. But what's going on here? 15 plus, we added 20 to get here. We added 40 to get here. Would we add 80 to get to the next one? So it looks like we're doubling what we add. So it's going to be doubling this and doubling this. So 4, 8, 16, 15, added 20, add 40, add 80. 
not just doubling the summer, but what we're adding to it. Add 20, add 40, add 80. The next one would be add 160, and we'd be at 64 a sub 0 plus 160, and so on and so on and so on. So once you find a pattern in math, then the, the work in getting there is done, and you just follow the pattern. Okay, page three brings us to the end of lesson 26. Go to your problem set.